Lord bless you guys. Evangelist Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries. I want to take you into the prophetic and the seer realm. You know, in the prophetic, there's some people that are prophetic in an orative fashion. Some people are more seer. The S-E-E-R, where they're sensitive to the spirit realm. I always leave the disclaimer because I see a lot of young people, not a lot, but some of them that are prophetic where they try and go to encounters. They try to go to a word. It's almost like they're craving the power or they're bent or just so um, misted, just, they, they're awed by the mysticism of it where they want to make Christianity so spiritual. And Christ, it is spiritual. Come on now. But would you understand what I'm trying to say, though? It's almost like they're making it this mysterious, weird thing. You know, when I move in the prophetic, that word has got to bear witness with the person that I'm prophetically speaking to or exhorting. If it doesn't bear witness, and it's got to be anchored and rooted in some type of scripture, you know, you got to get some type of word to it. Now, you know, the Lord does see us in the future, and you look a whole lot better than you do right now. And the, the Lord is prophetic about us. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He's everything in between. You know, when we're in the middle of Alpha and Omega, in the middle of a situation, God doesn't look at it like the, be the beginning from the end. He sees us from the end to the beginning. He looks at things like they already are going to be. And that's why he called you, anointed, and appointed you. And I'm here to prophesy over you prophetically decree and declare you are in the future and you look a whole lot better than you do right now in the future whether it's six months six years or 60 years you're going to be a finished final product where you're going to come forth as fine gold in about four minutes i want to pray the prayer of faith the impartation and grip you and release prophecy of what you're going to be. I see you in the future. The Lord sees you in the future. Let me just read a little bit about the prophetic prophecy in the Bible, the seer realm. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant, Paul's saying. The verse 4, there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. There are differences of ministries, but the same Lord. And then verse 8, for to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, another the word of knowledge. The word of knowledge is simply in Jesus knowing their thoughts. Jesus would come on the scene and say, this is what you're going through. This is what's plaguing you. This is what's going on. In you. And, it would identify, and the people's faith would rise up because God was speaking to them and they knew it that God cared about them and took notice of what they were going through, through the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit, the gifts of healing by the same spirit, the work of miracles to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, diff another different kinds of tongues, interpretation of tongues, but one in the same spirit works all these things distributing to each one individually as he wills. Let me talk about the discerning of spirits, the testing of spirits. I believe it's in 1 John. The testing of spirits or the, the, the have the gift to know the intents and thoughts of what's in the heart of a man or woman is absolutely imperative in this hour. If you're in business, in ministry, or just going about life, now you can discern in someone's heart if they have good motives towards you and positive, pure motives, if their heart's pure. But if they're, if it's defiled and their motives are impure and someone wants to, you know, thought and divert you. Well, you know, Jesus discerned Peter when Jesus was going to the cross. Jesus said, Satan, get thee behind me. You know, he wasn't calling Peter Satan. He was saying the spirit that was on Peter that was trying to stop Jesus from fulfilling his mission. Because how many knew if Jesus never went to the cross and shed his blood, the new covenant couldn't be established. So just some keys on the prophetic, on prophecy, on how to move in prophecy. 
Now I want to pray. Father, 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 I'm asking you to take people, if they're in between Alpha and Omega, if they're in a contradiction, friend, you've got to learn how to outlast your contradiction like Joseph. The Lord gave him a dream, then he's in a pit, then he's in the prison, and he goes to the palace. Just like that, the Lord said to Joseph, shave, get new clothes on, you're coming out. The Lord's saying to you today, I see you in the future. You look a whole lot better than you do right now. The Lord's prophetically speaking to someone that has mental anguish, mental turmoil, mental they're in their mind, their battle. Lord's setting you free, delivering you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Financial problems. The Lord sees you in your future. You're blessed. Hallelujah. If you've got health problems, you know, infirmity, disease, sickness, you're healed in the name of Jesus. The Lord sees you in the future, totally healed. Hallelujah. Friends, the Lord bless you guys. It'd be an honor if you'd subscribe to the channel. Again, I'm live every Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Blessings in Jesus' name. Amen.